everyone in this video we are going to see differential labeling so there are two types of differential labeling uh, mainly it is height of instrument method and rise and fall method there is also another type of reading called inverted shaft reading uh, we look into all those three in this video so i have a problem here i am going to solve this problem in both height of instrument method and rise and fall method so the problem is like this i have points a b c and d i need to find the rl that is the reduced level of all these four points in the site uh, we have set up the uh, level maybe an auto level or dumpy level at two stations station x and station y we also have a benchmark here so we have uh, kept our leveling staff at points a b c and d and we have found out the corresponding staff readings also and the staff readings are entered in the chart as follows you can see here from station x my benchmark is uh, 120 uh, it the the staff reading is 1.25 i am going to uh, enter 1.25 in my back side next uh, at point a it is 1.75 i am going to record it in uh, intermediate side and next uh, point b also in intermediate side and point c at four side because for the next point we are not looking at that from the same station we are looking at d from another station so in order to establish a relationship between x and y the both stations we are finding uh, the back side and fore side of the station c so we have recorded both uh, the fore side from station x and the back side from station y here and from station Y we have looked at since this is the last reading we will not have any intermediate size uh, site as in the, uh, the other case so this uh, 2.1 is going to be recorded in the fourth side so now jumping into the problem I, have, I already know that my benchmark is 100 meter the reduced level here there is 100 meter so here I am uh, entering the value Next, height of the instrument. There is only one formula that you need to keep in mind in height of instrument method. That is, reduced level is equal to height of the instrument minus staff reading. So, by staff reading, I uh, mean back side, intermediate side or fore side. This is what I mean by staff reading because that is what you... The staff reading is only recorded as back side, intermediate side and fore side, right? So, uh, I, I already know the reduced level. So, I need to find the height of the instrument. So, I can either uh, use the logic. From here, we can see that this is 100 meter. And if uh, my uh, 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 staff reading is going to be 1.25, then this uh, whole height from the bottom is going to be the benchmark plus the staff reading I can so it is going to be 100 plus 1.25 or not 1.25 I can either use that or in order to be quick what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this formula I need to find the height of instrument the high height of instrument is uh, reduced level plus staff reading so reduced level is 100 plus my staff reading is 1.25 so my height of instrument is 101.25 now that I have got the height of instrument, I can find the RL of all these values easily. So my RL is uh, height of instrument minus staff reading. 101.25 minus 1.75 uh, which will give me 99.5. I'm going to subtract these things. Minus. And again, that is what I have written here. And then again, I'm going to subtract this which will give me the answer 101.25 minus uh, 3.75 is 97.5 and next here also I am going to subtract and I am going to write the answer which is going to be 101.25 minus 4.2 which is 97.05 so uh, till now all these values have been taken from station X so no problem in that but here uh, when considering the reduced level of point D, I have taken the reading from another station. So uh, we have already established a relationship by taking two 
uh, the back side and fore side of station C. So what we are going to do here is this uh, all these uh, measurements they were made with respect to this height of instrument at station X. I need to find the height of instrument at station Y. So I need to find the height of instrument here. How will I find it? We already have the formula here. RL is equal to height of instrument minus staff reading. So my height of instrument is RL which we have already established using uh, the values from our station X. I have my RL, RL plus my staff reading. The new staff reading is 3.2 uh, which uh, with respect to station Y is 3.2. So this is going to be 97.05 plus 3.2 which gives me um, 100.25 so I already have my uh, height of instrument so height of instrument minus staff reading will give my reduce level so this is how we will find a reduce level using height of instrument next the same problem is approached using rise and fall method in rise and fall method it is very very easy the only thing you have to do is uh, you have to uh, subtract the values the staff readings row by row we already know that the reduce level of our benchmark is 100 the benchmark is always uh, left empty both rise and fall next i'm going to find the difference between these two first row minus second row it is going to be 1.25 minus 1.75 it is going to be a negative value so i'm going to record it in the fall so 1.25 minus uh, 1.75 is 0 0.5 it is minus 0 0.5 so i'm going to record it in the fall it you will have you always have to subtract the first value with the next value not vice versa so next is 1.75 uh, minus 3.75 it is again minus 2 minus so it is in fall next uh, all these three readings we already know a uh, 4.2 is the reading taken from station x you have to keep in mind that only the same station values can be subtracted different station values cannot be subtracted so now for 3.75 minus 4.2 again it is negative uh, it is 0 0.45 it is recorded in fall as well next we have to find uh, i already told you the same station readings can be subtracted so I am going to subtract these two. You don't have to establish any relationship, find the height of instrument and all those things. It's going to be really easy. 3.2 minus 2.1. Uh, you can see that it is going to be a positive value. So it is 1.1. Since it is positive, I am recording it in rise. The reduce level can be obtained easily. If it is rise, you have to add it. If it is uh, fall you have to subtract it so my reduce level of a is 100 minus since it is fall 100 minus 0 0.5 99.5 and here again uh, it is uh, fall so here we are not going to uh, subtract it from this point instead we are going to subtract it from this rl in height of instrument we will always keep one value as reference but here the successive values are taken as reference. So this minus this gave you this. This minus this will give you this. So again I will give you this. Again uh, this minus uh, this value will give you this. So 99.5 minus 2 is 97.5. Again minus uh, it is going to be 97.05. This is a right so I have to add it. This plus which gives me. 98.15 you can check and see that both the values are same uh, you, you can use any one of the methods which you find easy and there is also another check involved in these methods uh, the sum of uh, backside minus sum of foresight is equal to last rl minus first rl which is equal to summation of rise minus summation of fall uh, if it is an height of instrument method you can omit this in order to keep this in mind i have a simple trick i used to get confused between whether it is foresight minus backside or the first towel minus last towel so an easy method is you can see that uh, the sign minus is always followed by the alphabet f so by keeping this in mind you will never forget the formula 
So next is our inverted shaft reading. We go for inverted shaft reading uh, when the curvature of the earth is taken into account. Say I am standing here. When large distance is involved, my earth is going to curve. So if I am going to set up my uh, leveling staff here, even though the land is going to be straight, due to curvature, the land is going to curve. Uh, so because of that my reading is going to differ so in that case I will go for inverted shaft reading so in inverted shaft reading I am going to take the benchmark and then uh, the next uh, back side four sides they are uh, taken in inverted manner that is the graduations are not going to start from the ground they are going to start from the ceiling instead the, the only difference here is in the calculation we already know that RL is equal to height of instrument minus staff reading but here since it is an inverted staff reading I'm going to have HI uh, height of instrument minus minus of staff reading so, so this gives me height of instrument plus staff reading so we end up adding the staff reading to the height of instrument uh, that's all about the basics of height of instrument rise and fall method and inverted shaft reading in the upcoming videos, uh, we will solve problems asked in previous gate question papers. So, please stay tuned. Please do subscribe the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.